Hello Nigerians, how are you doing out there? I'd like to welcome you once again to Television Nigeria and the program is The Real Campaign. The Real Campaign, as you know, it's our Hey Now's Current Affairs program, our flagship current affairs program, where we discuss basically everything Nigerian. We discuss Nigeria, we eat Nigeria, we sleep Nigeria, we think Nigeria and everything about us is Nigerian. Hence, the name Television Nigerian. Well, today it's a normal day where like I always tell you sometimes, I take the program out of the studios. And today I want to talk, or I will be talking with the number one youth in the Federation. We call, we call him Youth 001. You will now introduce yourself to Nigerians. I remain my humble self, Comrade Mutala Mohammed Garba, popularly known as Gamji, the President of National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYC. Mutala Mohammed. You see, when you hear the name Mutala Mohammed in somebody's name, your mind will now go back to those youthful days when we used to have young people rule this country. The likes of Mutala Mohammed was 42. What is really going on today that the youth, you see our youth, some of them are even more than 50. They, they see answer youth. And they still cannot stand on themselves. What is really going on? There are something that causes it, and by the grace of God, as Nigerian youth, we are working towards it to solve that problem. To make sure that the youth go back to being yeah, youth. We go back to the track. But have we noticed that leadership has somehow slipped away from the youth? Uh, really, what happened? There was a cause that leads Nigerian youth to lose track or mm. to miss track. Okay. Of leadership. Okay. Yeah, during the military era. And when we come back to democracy, those are the set of youth again that are still that holding is and, Joe and Co. Mm. during their time as our elderly people. They understood because then they have already caught up the, the leadership of mm. youth. So they are the only people that know the secret. They have all the resources, they have all the security. So and they, the they now them. remain youth forever. Yeah, they now remain. But we disagree with that. They can't mm. remain youth forever. Mm. Because this time around, our leadership discover the secret. And also, we are training ourselves towards taking over the mountain of leadership okay. by building, by building uh, ourselves mm. towards good leaders. So that, that is more like the music that Jesus sang and said, forever young, I want to be forever young. These people are refusing to shift. But recently, some of them have started changing their stance. They started speaking towards the youth because they now feel that having the youth to rule this country will make it better for the country because obviously we are in a digital age. You agree? Because President Ibrahim Badamasu Babangida did come out to say that they, they have now become analogs. Two things. It's two face. It's two face war or okay. two face statement. Okay. Based on your understanding, mm -hmm. they as people or individual or our past leaders, I disagree with them. Okay. Uh, and where we agree with them is through their word. Yet it's good for youth to take over. But what kind of youth? You mm. as leaders, what have you done to those youth? Mm. It's not just about age. Mm. It's about your, acad your academic, mm -hmm. there's educational standard, mm -hmm. economic standard, mm. and leadership. You mm. must be trained for some specific class or institution before getting it's not just like that they'll just pick up from park or from the street mm. just go and be a leader so they'll just decide sit down just say okay okay yeah you no we are going to be yes, senator that is where we, we, be, that is where, where we you are so there that must it, be a platform where you to mm. be trained before you get there because unlike the american if you watch the american citizen i, I did say the last time you were in the studio with me yeah. i said if you look at the likes of obama and all the great leader, leaders you see today in America, there was a training process. Thank you very much. Most of them had to go through a process to work towards leadership. Yeah. As a Makane, you can't learn Makane without having the basic education. So that at least you can interact. You can, you can interact. At least there is no mechanic that will qualify and get certificate that will not know how to write or will not know how to calculate what he should do or to his customer okay for you out there in case you're just joining us this is the real campaign on television nigerian and i have been speaking with the number one youth of the federation i call him mutala muhammad and i leave out the other name because the one that sticks to my head is mutala muhammad he's a comrade and we'll be talking about the nigerian youth next now we'll look at the election is coming really and recently the uh, there was the world congresses here and there 
and they, they, they were local government congresses and very soon the state and they were pockets of crisis here and there and it was all centered around the youth. How do we disassociate the minds of the youth from being used as political talks? Because I read your write-up in some of our dailies recently and you did mention that the youth, you, you came out blatantly to tell politicians, stop using our youth as talks. That is the call. We always call our youth. We must be people that add value to whatever we are doing. We must add value to ourselves. And we should, and we must disassociate ourselves with whoever will not add value to us. Mm. Adding value is somebody that has future for you, supporting your future. It's not by somebody that gives you power. To an extent, whoever will give you a position of political position without adding value to that position, we are saying no for it. And also we use the opportunity to call on our youth to get their PVC and also register with any political party of their, of their mm. choice. And also to rise, you must not get much money for you to contest in any political so position. If, if Just a, be good to your community. If a youthful candidate now comes out for the presidency, yes. and you know this is a youth that has all the, the this indices that yes, you have mentioned yes, yes. has all the characteristics yes will you will all the youths go behind that person we will we will it's all about your biography your history your experience and hope and also confidence and trust we have in you so if a young man should come out now and challenge the president like president Buhari wants to contest now and a young youthful youth yes. that is very intelligent, articulate, trustworthy, has all these characteristics. Yes. Will the youth now support this person? That is the beauty of democracy. Mm. Is democracy is matter of choice. We will support a youth who will deliver. Who we believe he will deliver. deliver. Yes. Okay. I like that stance. Mm. So we'll go on a short break. And when we come back from the break, we will take it up from there. He said, and I quote, we will support any youth with integrity who we feel can deliver our mandate. That's the beauty of democracy. It's a matter of choice. The real campaign will continue immediately after this break. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Prince David Adetunji Adeaye, known as DAA. I am a lawyer and an energy specialist. I live and work here in FCD, Abuja. I am running for the House of Representative for AMAC Wari for the constituency for the good people of FCD under the platform of Young Progressive Party. I am running because I believe in legislative agenda for community development. I wanted a community that is responsive, that is supporting and creating social infrastructure and amenities for our children and young people to be able to compete globally. I am encouraging all that is out there to go there and get a PVC and ensure that you vote. Election does matter and this election it's important that we elect people that are good, that are going to represent you. Support me as the House of Representative candidate for Young Progressive Party for Amak Burari Federal Constituency. Thank you for your support. Young Progressive Party. Service to the people. All right, welcome back to the real campaign here on Television Nigeria. Like I did tell him, mentioned earlier that we took it out of the studio and straight to the street because the street is where we get it all. And I've been talking with the number one youth of Nigeria, Comrade Mutala Mohammed, who is here with me. And uh, we've, he has said so many profound things, especially advising the youth not to allow anybody use you. And he did mention that the youth should go and get their PVC. How important is the PVC? PVC is all and is all. Hmm. PVC is what we send away poverty hmm. in Nigeria. PVC is what we unite Nigeria. Hmm. PVC is what is all and all positive. So now, preparing for this forthcoming election, what guarantee can the youth give us that the election votes will count? and they will make sure that it happens. By based on the sensitize, sensitizing our youth and mm. sensitization that is going around mm. from the world, local government, state and federal level, mm. by the grace of God, the information our youth are getting. A lot of our, our youth call me and say that so, so, so person give them money, mm. but they refuse to do 
what the what person asked them, asked to, them do. to do. So that means your sensitization yes, is going our on. Sensitization Recently, is you, going you, on. you had the program in Aso Rock. Yeah. There was a program. Tell us about it. Uh, really, the mentorship program, we did it to discover what is happening within the, that is the gap that okay. have within the leaders and, the and we, the youth leadership. Mm. And also, the youth should ask the leaders, more especially the ministers that attended the program about what their ministries and federal government has done mm. and what we, the youth, need from them and what mm. kind of contribution we need. From there, we discover our leaders. So it was mentorship. an accountability thing. Yes, yeah, it's so more we of need accountability. To ask, it's where the youth can ask the leaders and the Oga, yes. the things you promised us, yes. how far. Yes. Because, you know, there was this joke that they used to tell us that uh, a youth was asking a politician, yes. Oga, where is our education? He says in the pipeline. Mm. Where is our this? He says the pipeline. And before we knew, the youth started vandalizing the pipeline because mm. they are looking for their future. Yes. So from this mentorship training and this symposium and program, it's where the youth have the opportunity to ask the leaders, yeah. where is our future? Yes. What are you doing with our future? Yeah. And you say you are moving this program to the southeast. Southeast. So it's going to all the geopolitical All zone. the geopolitical So Abuja zone. was the first just to do yeah, with the just, president and yes. all the ministers. Yes. Now you're taking it to the geopolitical zone. Yes. And your next stop, you say, is Enugu. Yes, Enugu, southeastern region. So tell the southeastern youth yes. what to expect. It's a center of economy of mm. Africa, not mm. only Nigeria. Okay. Because the whole of the southeast region economically can fit the whole of Africa. Hmm. So it's a very sensitive region that we have a very standard youth there that we are going there to sensitize and encourage them mm. to for them to stand firm to continue doing what they are so doing. So that means I can categorically say that the National Youth Council of Nigeria is a detribalized group. No, we are, we are the tribalized group of youth mm. that we believe in humanity. We speak one language, which one is language, Nigeria. One language, that is Nigeria. One language, that is unity. One language that is humanity, hmm. peace, and youth development. The killings here and there. How do we get to re change the mindset of this youth from carrying, for doing these things? Because uh, mostly, if you see those that are arrested, when they arrest, are mainly youth. Uh, really, in that aspect, that is security aspect of it. What you are asking, we must comment and also appreciate the security agency mm. because I was in Benue what happened during the crisis mm -hmm. and when the resort started healing that is when they started arresting the criminals who we were there so categorically I'm telling you uh, uh, openly we have said it and we had it what is happening is more of political or whatever there are sponsorship there are people that sponsor our youth to do that for their own personal interest or their selfish interest okay and that is part of the sensitizing youth or sensitization that, that is going, going on. on telling our youth we should not use gun on anybody and nobody should give us they gun should to be respect for life thank you very much respect for life respect for the law respect for for humanity mm. and let's do it ourselves by building ourselves and standing as your, youth your tenure and, as the youth national youth president should be two years right uh, it's three years. Three years. Yeah. So, in this next three years, can Comrade Mutala tell us, okay, these are the plants on ground, these are the yardsticks we're using, this and this and this we intend to achieve before the end of my tenure? Uh, by the grace of God, since we came, in 45 days, we have gotten a standard youth house for Nigerian youth, which for over 20 or 18 years, Nigerian youth don't have. They didn't house. have a youth house. We don't have youth house. So you there have is one no now. a specific address that if you want to trace a Nigerian youth or you have anywhere any. How were they Nigerian operating? Youth, it was something that is just a click, click affairs. Hmm. Yeah, they, that is why that is why we lose value, more especially to the by, elites, to elites hmm. and politicians and other private individuals because and also they just international saw them community. as a mushroom group yeah, we, who were just going to collect yeah, what they want yeah, share among themselves yeah, and they yeah, move yeah, on yeah but there for is now no, now there's a unifying we place have where a standard youth house in aswan street number 29 nigerian youth house zone three mm, a standard youth house street. if you want to get oh, us yes yes there. yes 
near Pekka Garden. Thank you very Garden. much. Opposite Pekka. I always see it. Yes, yes Nigerian, Nigerian youth. youth house. And from there, we have something that for over 20 or 18 years again that they don't have. That is the directorate of youth. That is something like a minister um, or mini yeah, a, a ministry under, under, under the Ministry of Youth and uh, That is sports. under my office. Your office, you As have a, a president, directorate. We have directorate. Okay, with the previous, the previous leadership the of youth council, we don't have it. Yeah, like now I'm here, my directory is having program with uh, INEC. Some of them are having with gender, mm. some with Ministry of So Agri you just have different directories that yes. handles different field yeah. in sport, in yeah. gender, in sport. equality, in much. training, entrepreneurship Thank and all that. Much. So all you that. all that didn't happen yeah. before. Yeah, all that didn't happen, mm. happen before. And also the previous leadership lacked the the ability to bring out all the youths unrespected of whether you have the Western education or, or not. not. We have no any class in the present administration that you are you have gone to school, you don't go to school, you are Makane, you are granite seller, whatever. If youth you are Nigerian youth. Youth, youth, you are Nigerian youth. We go down to grassroots, the granite sellers, the hawkers in the streets, we you go to prison, them, sensitize sensitizing them, them mm. encouraging them, motivating them. Makane, we go and tell them that what you are doing, you can help this country, don't give up. We are with you. We encourage them. We go to granite sellers, we borrow shell, uh, we borrow no, pusher, are, are you or making any, drivers. Any provision for grants for some of them where we can get well meaning Nigerians to now maybe raise funds yes. to help some of this. Yeah, we have done start. that with CBN in collaboration with CBN and also NDE. Mm. Yeah, we yes, have National that Directory of employment. employment. NDE also has done well in terms of empowering our youth and giving them support in that support. aspect. Mm, this is nice. So, so between now, so all these things were not happening yeah, before. It now happen. it is happening now. Yes. And you people have a directory of all, most of the youth, are they registered? All, yes. Uh, they have re re directory have, where all yes. the youth yes. are registered yes. Yes. and we can account for them. Yes. So that means you are the number, you're controlling over 60 percent of the nigerian population yes, of course of you're course. a strong man bro yes, sir. that means you control power yes sir so if how if but let me look at it from being a bit selfish because with the power you control now it comes with money it comes with authority it comes with people wanting to use you because politicians will definitely come yeah if they have not started coming they will come. And then, can the youth of Nigeria trust you to say, our president will speak for us? And we are very sure that that president there, Comrade Mohammed, will not receive any gratification from anybody to change the mandate of the youth? By the grace of God, I will not disappoint myself and I will not disappoint Nigerian youth. Mm. What they stand or we stand for. Anything that will add value to Nigerian youth, mm. if we see it, we will do it. And anything that will devaluate our standard or our value, mm. we are saying no for it. And about the politicians, uh, we are privileged right from our university's days. Mm. There is no past president that we don't know him or I don't know him. Yeah. All I've seen Obasanjo, Obasanjo knows me, is not a new thing to me. I've known uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar, is not in, but Badamasi Babangi, there is none. So there is nobody that will come and turn our heads through money or whatever. And above all, we are trained and we have the discipline. The monetary discipline of it, we have it in us. Mm. That, and this, that is what we are fighting for. Mm. By the grace of God, we can destroy or throw away our future because of peanuts. That because whatever you give me to. is peanuts. Because many youth these days throw away their future for peanuts. Yeah. A politician can just come give you 200,000, give you one car, and I tell you go to that area, burn this, do this, do this, and they go into it. What do you think it is because things are not flowing as they should flow? What encouragement will you give you to say, look, be patient, this thing can work out? Uh, really, our preach or our message to Nigerian youth, we must be self disciplined We must be self self-leaders we must build ourselves we must be careful with whatever we are doing we should know that what you do today you wrap it tomorrow mm. if you do good today you will surely be something tomorrow okay yeah so we have to be very careful we should know that our religion should be that of humanity god created humanity before religion 
God create humanity before our tribe, God create humanity before our region. Mm -hmm. We should know that above all, the condition that Nigerian youth are facing is we are all dis facing the same condition. The situation of youth in Anambara State is the same condition of youth in, 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 in Kano State. The condition of youth in Lagos, the same condition youth of Taraba or Adamawa is facing. So let's unite ourselves as entity, one entity, that speak we can speak voice. with one voice, unrespected of any political party. Do whatever you know that will add value to you. Go and support whoever you feel will add value to you. Join any political party that you feel will add value to you. No religion leader should come and pollute your mind with myopic sentiment. Mm -hmm. You should hate somebody that have no any reason of you hating him. Mm -hmm. We are calling on Nigerian youth. Let's love one another. Let's stand by one another. Let's come out and contest. We should stop just be supporting. Let's come and contest and be part of the government. Let's be part of the system. Whatever, if you are not part of it, you are not with it. So, Mr. President, before I let you go, you said something earlier on, that when, when the time comes, I just like that statement that you use and say, you go and support who you want to support, but you know that that person will add value. But if, in the course of, you know when the election, election comes now, plenty sweet mouths. They will tell you, I will add value, I will do this, I will do that. When it comes to push, come to shove, and they will vote this way, and they are not doing what they should do. What will you advise you to do? Uh, it's very simple. We thank God the electoral uh, body is mm. getting stronger. We are getting more awareness. By the time we miss or we, we miss elect a leader, when he's not fulfilling his mission, we can recall. Just mm. of recent, they tried to recall somebody mm -hmm. in, in Kogi State. And mm. by the grace of God, whoever we feel he has not done well, we will not vote for him again. So yes. we can invoke the recall. Yes, we rule. can invoke. By the grace of God, by then, that structure will be more stronger. More stronger. We, so do it. we can do it. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. President, it has been fantastic talking to you. I really have enjoyed myself. And like you said, your message to the youth is get involved. Yes. Get your PVC. Be look, register with any political party of your choice. Support any candidate that you know will add value to you. To you. And don't issue, eschew violence. Yes. Don't involve yourself in violence. Don't no, do anything with violence. No, no, no. Mr. President, this is a message I'm going to take back to the youth. I definitely, I know the youths that are watching are also taking this from you. So as you say your last word is, guys, get involved. Well, I've been speaking with um, Comrade Mutala Mohamed, the uh, national president of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, and his message is clear and simple. Irrespective of who you are, if whatever you're bringing will not favor the youth, the youth will not accept you. So, Mr. Politician, entrepreneur, leaders, elites, wherever you are, respect the youth and make sure that you add value mm. to the life of the youth. Thank well, that's the much we can take on the real campaign today. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Thank for being part of the program. And we'll just say, youth, everybody, have a blessed day. My name is Ernest Equerisian. Until I come your way again with another edition of the program, bye.